morning guys so to firstly prime my eyes i'm going to take my jumbo pencil in milk this is from nyx and i'm going in and applying that all over the lid from inner to outer corner and taking it up to my brow bone as well i want the whole lid to be covered because i want it to create a nice blank canvas for the eyeshadows to really stick to so they show up really vibrant and pigmented and then i'm going to take the first shadow of the day this is from my chi chi pride palette it's a beautiful peachy pink shadow i really love it i'm using that as my transition color i'm taking it first of all through the tail of my brow blending it on an upward angle kind of blowing it out then i'm going to take it through my crease slowly building up that pigment it is best with these kind of quite pigmented colors to slowly build up otherwise if you have a whole lot of color and nowhere to blend you can end up with a big mess so i do it like really encourage to just start slow and work from there next i'm taking this beautiful like cool tone pink on a more petite crease brush and i'm just blowing that again out on the kind of tail of the brow area and then bringing that through the crease and inner corner so i am building up that pigment firstly and then i go back in with the initial peachy shade that peachy pink and i'm just kind of smoking it out a little bit blending out any harsh lines or edges Next is the more trickier part. I'm taking a black eyeshadow on a pencil brush and I'm placing that through the crease. As you can see, I started off very slow, very light with that color and slowly built up from there. It's better to go slowly with this color. I feel like I should have gone in, blended out that black, gone in, applied a bit more, blended it out. Whereas I just went in ham and just built up that color firstly and I found it a little bit harder to blend out. So it takes a little bit longer if you do it my way, but I do recommend just like going in with a little bit of black, blending out with some pink, going in with more black, blending out with some pink and just kind of building it up from there if that makes sense. Once you've smoked it out to your desired effect, <laughs> I'm going in with the NYX Jumbo Pencil in Milk on an eye concealer brush and I'm carving out my crease. Taking it all the way from the inner corner and dragging it out towards that kind of flick that we've created on the outer corner. I also like using this to clean up that black shadow if you feel like you know it wasn't clean crisp like it kind of got everywhere this step is great to clean it up and i go in and just fill in the lid as well so it's just a nice blank canvas to continue on with next i'm taking this gorgeous gorgeous shimmery shadow from the thin lizzie palette the cool collection i believe it's from and i'm just applying that all over the lid making sure to keep a nice crisp line along that cut crease area and also kind of tapering out towards that like flick area if that makes sense then i'm going in with this gorgeous holographic glitter and placing that on the inner two thirds of my eyelid so i'm going in with lash glue firstly then i go and apply this glitter over top just letting you know it's not an eye safe glitter and it did hurt my eyes a little bit like i think i got some in my eye and it did hurt so just a little fyi probably don't use it as like an all over eye shadow thing get some eye safe glitter but it did look really pretty so i was like oh it's kind of worth it in the end <laughs> next again taking some of the nyx jumbo pencil in milk i'm applying that on my eye concealer brush and just mapping out the butterfly wings on the outer corner of the eye i decided to switch brushes to this eag show uh, lip brush because i just found the I can see the brush a little bit stiff to get like the curves and things and oh my lord this brush is amazing it just made the whole step so much easier so you don't have to make it a perfect shape as you can see I do rub it out a little bit and just fix it up where I need to but it is good to just get a mapped out idea of what you want the shapes to look like on the outer corners and like make sure they're kind of semi even then I go in with my eyeliner and draw two wings, just your, your normal winged eyeliner on the outer corners of your eye. And also what I did mention before, which I'm going to mention now, is try to keep the glitter off like the lash line area just because it makes it easier to draw your winged liner on afterwards. Next I'm going to take this Pegasus shade and mix it with some of Ice Queen from Makeup Geek and place it on my inner corners for a bit of a pop. It's so, so beautiful. I love this those two colours mixed together so much. Then I drag some of Pegasus on the bottom inner third of my lash line. Then taking some of Sapphire from Morphe on a chisel shader brush, I'm just going to pack that colour on the outer third or outer two thirds of my eye, blending it into those wings that we've created there. Then to blend it out, I'm taking these two blue shadows from my Chi Chi Pride palette on a pencil brush and just smoking out those blues so they're nice and like diffused and smoking. There's no harsh lines. 
Next, grabbing my NYX Jumper Pencil in Milk, I'm actually going to colour in the like butterfly wings so that the shadows show up very, very pigmented and vibrant. And for the first shadow, I'm taking this stunning duochrome eyeshadow from Makeup Geek in the shade Black Light and packing that on the um, bottom third of those wings, blending it into the blue. Then I'm going in with this purple shimmery shade from the Pride palette and I'm placing that on with a precise shader brush. I'm just blending it into black light and crispening up those lines that we created before so you can see which wing is individual if that makes sense, like the three individual wing points. Lastly I'm taking this deep purple shade from the Jaclyn Hill Morphe palette, it's a beautiful purple shimmery shade as well and I'm basically packing that on the top third of the wings and blending all those colours together to make sure they're nice and seamless and there's no harsh lines, they all just melt together seamlessly. Once you've done that I'm going to take some black eyeliner again and start outlining our winged shapes. So first of all I like to just go and outline the outside of the wings to kind of get the shape idea. Then I go back in and like thicken them up a little bit and do the detail work. And that is kind of the idea of the wings that I wanted. <laughs> then I'm placing some NYX Jumbo Pencil in Milk on my waterline. I didn't have a straight up blue eye coal. So I decided to use a white eye coat and then go over with Pegasus, which is a vibrant blue eyeshadow, and use that as my um, waterline colour. However, if your eyes are very sensitive, don't really recommend using an eyeshadow on the waterline. I recommend you getting like a blue eye coat or something like that. Then I'm placing on some highliner as my mascara today because it was super vibrant and blue. Um, again, if you guys have a blue mascara or something like that, feel free to use that. I was just getting creative. <laughs> For the wings, I want to add a bit more details to them. So I'm going in with two diamantes on each wing and I'm placing that on the top two wings. Then I'm going in with some white body paint. You guys can use white eyeliner if you have that. And I'm placing dots along the wings as you can see. I thought I added a nice touch to it. I know, it just makes them look more realistic in my eyes. Um, and that is basically all the detail work that I'm going in with today. All you need to do next is apply some lashes. I went in with fairy lashes from Anitude. I find them really full and voluptuous and they really complement this look. Then I go in and place some glitter liner along the cut crease. I thought it just it was just something missing so I decided to do that. And then for my brow bone highlight I'm going in with this fantasy shade from the same cool tone palette from Thin Lizzy. And that is the finished look guys. I really hope you enjoyed today's makeup tutorial. I thought this was a different kind of butterfly look than what you're usually seeing. Um, and I did really enjoy doing the butterfly looks. I just, I've been loving the trend so much. If you guys have any requests for future videos, please let me know down below. Please leave a big thumbs up if you did enjoy this video and I'll see you guys very, very soon. Thank you for watching guys. Love you so much. Bye.